guys, Sam from Amphis Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, please give me a thummy. So I thought I haven't done a book look in a while. So I went through my shelves of all the wonderful pattern books that I've got and I picked one off the shelf to show you today. So grab yourself a drink and we will be diving into Kawaii Crochet. 40 super cute crochet patterns for adorable amigurumi by Melissa Bradley. And they are super cute guys. Now I was gifted this in Happy Mail and I was so, so happy. So let's take a closer look and all throughout this book guys there are rainbows galore so that makes Mount for happy as well. Now what the kawaii books do is they separate the patterns inside into colour sections. Now that doesn't mean that you can only make something from that colour in that colour, you can swap and change it. But for the layout they did it in the different colours of the rainbow but there is no reason why you couldn't, for example, make a baby bottle pink, even though it's in the blue section. Okay, so it gives you the table of contents. And in red, we have an apple, a Christmas light, a chili pepper, popcorn and soda cup. In orange, we have carrot cake, creamsicle, orange, orange juice and pumpkin. In yellow, we have banana, lemon, school pencil, lemon cake, mustard bottle. In purple, we have beet, hot air balloon, toast with jam, turnip, wedding cake. Green, we have Brussels sprout, Christmas tree, St. Patrick's Day cake, pear and peas in a pod. Blue, we have baby bottle, blueberry ice cream cone, bowl of Cheerios, milk carton and rain cloud. And in pink, we have cotton candy, heart, strawberry ice cream cone, bowl of Fruit Loops, watermelon popsicle. And brown, we have corn dog, pretzel, fortune cookie, pancakes, vanilla ice cream cone. So there is no reason why, for example, the ice cream cone, you change the colour of the ice cream and you could have banana ice cream or you could have orange ice cream or you could have cherry ice cream. So you can swap and change it. Now we move on to the introduction and they have broken, hang on guys, they have broken the skill levels for the patterns down into beginner, easy and intermediate. So check the skill level of each product. And there is a lovely introduction there, which um, talks about why Melissa made these patterns, a little bit about her backstory, how the book came about, and all that wonderful information. Here is a beautiful picture of some of the makes inside. They're so cute. And she's done a fruit and veg stall, which would be so super cute for a little one to play with. Okay, tools and materials. So there you go. There's another rainbow she uses with the tools. So stitch markers, crochet hooks, fiber fill stuffing, chenille stem, which is a pipe cleaner, I believe, hot glue gun. And then over the page, we've got toy safety eyes, scissors, yarn needle, cotton yarn, pins, and wooden skewers. Now, you don't have to use cotton yarn to make amigurumi, guys. It is more durable. It is more uh, withstanding. It doesn't stretch out or pull out um, like acrylic does. But... If you want, say, a plushie that is super snuggly, I would recommend either acrylic, chenille, um, blanket yarn. Now, I've never used chenille or blanket yarn, but I've seen others that make amigurumi out of it, and they just look so super squishy and adorable. 
I tend to make my amigurumi either out of acrylic or cotton or an acrylic cotton blend. Um, it just depends who's going to be receiving the item, whether it's just something for me to display up here or um, I'm going to, like I said, give it to somebody specific and they pick whether they want a more durable toy or whether like for decoration or whether they want something to snuggle up with in bed that is a little bit softer. So don't be put off. You don't have to use cotton. Here she talks about colour theory. And there is the colour wheel there, which is fabulous, made out of her school pencil design. And I believe that the way this works is colours either side coordinate with so if I pick this yellow that would go with it and that would go with it but a good contrast color is the one that is directly opposite so if you are looking and I can't do this because it's left and right so this yellow green is great with the red violet um, this red orange is great with the blue green um, and it just kind of helps you when you are doing your colour selections and I think that is just so super cute using her own little kawaii amigurumi to um, show that. Then she goes into colour terms. So here we have the primary colours, red, blue and yellow. We have the secondary colours, purple, green and orange. We have tertiary colours. Now tertiary colours these are created by mixing one primary and one secondary colour together and include blue green, yellow green, yellow orange, red orange, red purple and blue purple. OK, then you've got complementary colours. These consist of any two colours which are directly opposite each other on the colour wheel, which is what I was saying about. And then you've got split complementary colours. Sorry, I'm not showing you very well split complementary colours here these consist of any colour on the wheel plus the two that flank its co its complement so then you've got analogous colours colours these consist of any two to four colours which are side by side on the colour wheel and then you've got triadic colours these consist of any three colours evenly spaced around the colour wheel so this goes into more in depth of how to use the colour wheel we've got tetratic tetradic or double complementary colours these consist of four colours arranged into two complementary pairs then you've got monochromatic colours these consist of one hue plus white black or grey to create tints tones and shades and then you've got neutral colours. These consist of colours not associated with any single hue, like blacks, whites and greys. And there's other colour terms here. Hue is the name of a colour. Saturation is the intensity or purity of a hue. Value, the degree of lightness or darkness of a hue. The shade, a hue produced by adding black. Tint, a hue produced by adding white and tone a hue produced by adding grey so lots of really awesome information there of how to use colours now we're getting into the patterns themselves we are heading into red and it says red is the colour of energy and excitement it is vibrant powerful and full of passion red is strong-willed and can give us confidence the colour red can also stimulate the appetite and is associated with luck and prosperity. And here she has displayed her red makes with some other red objects, which is super cool. Now, I've got to try and do this without actually showing any of the pattern. So there is the red apple. Cute teacher gift. And then we have got the Christmas light. Cute, cute, cute. And you could make Christmas lights in all the colours of the rainbow and string them up on a garland. Then you have got the chilli pepper. Now, if you've been here a while, you will know that Mike has made the chilli pepper. 
and he is actually right here. Mike made the chili pepper. Then we have popcorn. Cute, cute, cute. Then we have a soda cup. And there we go. Now we're into orange. Orange is intellectual and full of adventure. It is associated with warmth, health, optimism and energy. Orange can offer emotional strength in difficult times and motivate us to look on the bright side of life. And there are some of the cute orange makes. So in this section, we have a carrot cake. That is my ultimate favorite cake. Love it. I will always pick carrot cake if it is an option. Next, we have a creamsicle. Cute for the summer. Then we have the orange, orange itself. Can't have an orange segment without making an orange. I mean, then we have got orange juice. I love that little segment of orange on the side of the glass. Then we have a pumpkin. Cute. Love it. Don't forget, guys, change up the um, weight of yarn and the size hook that you use, and you could make them itty bitty or ginormous as well. We're into yellow. Yellow is the colour of happiness. Yellow is the brightest and most visible colour on the spectrum. Words often associated with this colour are sunshine, happiness, humour, creativity and fun. The colour yellow can help with decision making as it relates to clarity of thoughts and ideas. So there are some of the yellow mate. And they include a banana and a lemon and a school pencil, another cute teach gift. And lemon cake. Mike loves lemon cake. This is one of his favourites. Cute, cute, cute. And we have mustard bottle. Now we are into green. Green is the colour of nature. It symbolises life, growth and rebirth. It can help us feel balanced, calm, fresh and reinvigorated. Green is the colour of goodness for the earth and for health. Here is some of the green makes. And it includes Brussels sprouts. I don't like Brussels sprouts. These are cute. These I would have in my life, but to eat Brussels sprouts? No, thank you. <clears throat> now, there are little hint boxes here. So this one says, every day I'm brussling. Make a whole bowl full of sprouts for a cute centerpiece at Christmas. There you go. Okay, then we have the Christmas tree. And like I was saying earlier, you can make the Christmas lights in all the different colours and have a garland of them as decor, which is cute. Okay, so now we've got a St. Patrick's Day cake. Cuteness. Um, here's just a cute little prop of a hot dog stand. So you've got the soda cup, 
you've got the mustard bottle popcorn there's a pretzel there's a corn dog and there is a fortune cookie i believe so that is cute 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 okay we have a pair we have peas in a pod now this reminds me of my three boys cheeky little cheeky little so-and-sos and i actually got my mum a key ring made out of ceramic with three peas in a pod and likened it to my boys and as you can see the peas do pop out of the pod shell so that's cute now we are into blue blue is the color of trust and responsibility the colour blue can reduce stress and create feelings of calmness, relaxation and order. Various shades of blue always work well together, like the sky meeting the ocean. So there we go, guys. Some of the blue makes. Love it. The first blue pattern is a baby bottle. But remember, you could just change the lid and have it whatever colour you wanted and we have the blueberry ice cream cone again just swap out the flavor of ice cream you want those blueberries on the top are super cute though and then we've got a bowl of cheerios now that is cuteness love it there's another picture of it there milk carton there we are excuse my tummy if you can hear it rumbling i am very hungry then we have a rain cloud now we're into purple purple is a color full of presence and one that can stimulate the imagination it's a strong colour that can be a bit tricky when incorporating it, incorporating it into a design. A surefire way to use it successfully is to employ it monochromatically, that is with other shades of the same colour. There are some of the purple makes. So we have a cute little beat. Oh, look, they've made another little scene there. So you've got your Christmas lights, got the lemon cake, carrot cake, a heart and a purpley cake. Super cute. OK, the next pattern is the hot air balloon. And please excuse Rolo snoring. Next is toast with jam. And then we have a turnip, very similar to the beet. And then we have the wedding cake. So that was what the purple cake was from the picture before. But you could switch up the colours and have whatever colour wedding cake you wanted. Now we're into pink, my favourite colour. Pink is the sweeter version of red. It is cute, romantic, caring and playful. The colour pink represents nurturing and unconditional love. It is also a sign of hope, inspiring comfortable feelings and a sense that everything will be okay. So here is the pink mix. Okay, so we have cotton candy. The hint for this one says, sweetly spun, give one as a Valentine's gift. Simply attach a tag that says, Valentine, you're sweet as candy and I've cotton to like you a lot. <laughs> now I have made this one. It is the heart. So I did make that one. 
there you go so big hearted make a heart pillow by using a soupy super soupy super bulky weight yarn instead you'll need 310 grams the finished pillow will measure 30.5 centimeters or 12 inches tall by 24 centimeters which is nine and a half inches wide okay next we have the strawberry ice cream cone same as the blueberry but with a different topping and using a different color bowl of fruit loops cuteness and there is another picture showing the top cute 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 and you get the uh, pattern for the spoon okay brown Brown is a serious colour. It's down to earth and signifies support, stability, comfort and structure. In colour psychology, brown is honest and relates to the hardworking and the industrious who have both feet planted firmly on the ground. And there are some of the brown makes. We have the corn dog. We have the pretzel. Fortune cookies. Pancakes. My eldest loves pancakes and waffles. Cute. We have the vanilla ice cream cone. But you could change the colour of the sauce on the top and do the brown ice cream and then maybe strawberry sauce on top. And then you've got a chocolate ice cream. And then at the back, it is the section called techniques. Here are a couple of the makes again. And then another beautiful photo. The pictures are really gorgeous in this one, guys. Really, really gorgeous. Okay, so we've got useful information. So there is the key to the pattern charts there. Conversion chart, US to UK. Pattern abbreviations used here. It tells you again about the skill levels, beginner, easy and intermediate. Um, how to read patterns there's some information on that there is modifying the design so lots of useful information and just to clarify this book does use US terms which is fabulous because I get on better with US terms but there is that conversion chart then the basic stitches which is explained in word format and then there are some picture diagrams to help you. Okay, decreasing stitches explained in word form and pictures to help. Special stitches, so those are explained in word form. And then there are pictures to help as well. And then colour work, so that's things like changing colours, joining yarn, carrying yarn or crocheting with two colours. There's information about those things there. Finishing, the things you need to do to finish them off. There are some picture diagrams up here and then a super cute picture here. I don't remember showing you the watermelon Hang on guys, bear with, bear with, bear with. I did the strawberry ice cream cone, fruit loops. I missed the watermelon popsicle. There he is. Sorry about that guys, but isn't he cute? Okay, so then we have making up. So inserting safety eyes, the stuffing, closing stitches through front loops. There's information on those. There are actual photograph pictures here 
and then crocheting two pieces together, sewing two pieces together. So basically guys, everything you need to know about how to make these patterns is in here. Shaping the top only, shaping top and bottom, fastening off inside a three dimensional piece, stitching facial details. Oops, sorry, I shook the camera. So literally everything you need to know to be able to make these cute designs is contained within this one book. It is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous book. Then there is the acknowledgements and about the author. And then there is an index as well. And that is what Melissa Bradley looks like. There she is. Wait for my camera to focus. And then there is a final cute little pattern there with most of the makes all together. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. It is cute. It is gorgeous. It is rainbow filled. There are so many adorable patterns for every color of the rainbow. It is amazing. If you have never attempted Amigurumi with all of the step-by-step -step instructions and picture things at the back, you should be able to pick up this book and work your way through it and learn right from the beginning. Um, if you've already done Amigurumi, this is piece of cake and there are a few cakes to make in there. Um, I highly recommend that you all have it in your stash because they are super, super cute. They make adorable little key rings. Um, if you've got any littles in your life, whether it be children or grandchildren, imagine doing a fruit and veg stall or a supermarket, like a grocery store, where they can pretend to buy all these things. The hot dog stand that we saw, so, so super cute. And I used to work in a preschool and if I was able to crochet back then, I probably would have made all of the items for their little um, pretend grocery store and stuff like that. I may not have used safety eyes because obviously with safety eyes, be careful that it's for age appropriate children. They are a choking hazard. But there are ways of embroidering eyes and other things to put the faces on. And you don't even need to put the faces on. Because they've got faces, that is why they're called kawaii. But if they didn't have faces, they would still be just as awesome and practical for play, for display. If you've got any local shops that want a crochet display, maybe. But honestly, guys, you should be able to get your hands on a copy and be able to work through these um, pretty easily. Um, obviously having prior knowledge is an advantage, but using the techniques and the helpful hints and tips right the way through, everything you need to know about these patterns is in here. You don't need to go anywhere else. It is all in here. So yes, I highly, highly recommend. And who just doesn't love beautiful rainbows everywhere? I know I do. You know I do. <laughs> Anyway, guys, it was so lovely spending some time with you looking through this really super adorable, beautiful book. I hope it may have inspired you. Only go out and purchase if you have the means to do so. I am not trying to enable. I am just showcasing a beautiful, beautiful pattern source for you to have in your collection, should you wish. Um, I have made the heart from it and I intend to make some more things as time goes on. So again, thank you for your time. There is daily content here at Memphis Make, so keep coming back and seeing what I have to offer. It is so great that you spend your time with me. So until I see you tomorrow, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. Bye, guys.